This is no one from nowhere, and you are, and I am, a Spirit of God. Today I want to talk to you about the biblical proof of the Anunnaki, Jesus Christ, Allah, Yahweh, worship Anu, Saturn, Kronos, Helios. First a joke. What is King Anu's favorite planet? Saturn. He put a ring on it. Have you ever wondered who the Most High God is or the gods are? Who did Jesus Christ really cry out to at his death on the cross? How does the patriarch Abraham fit into all this? And did you know that King Anu, Saturn, Kronos, Helios worship is going on to this day in Islam, Judaism, and Christianity? Anu equals the Anu Naki. Words that describe Anu, omnipotent, all capitalized, almighty God with unlimited power, omniscient, almighty God having infinite awareness, omnipresence, almighty God being present in all places at all times. Pictured here is Anu, or in some cases Utu Shemesh, hanging the black sun of Saturn. According to the Woman's Encyclopedia of Myths and Secrets, Anu, Kronos, Saturn equals L. L is a general Semitic word or name for a deity, especially in combining forms as an example of El Elyon, El Shaddai, Israel, Bethel, Daniel, Elijah, both El and its plural Elohim, meaning many deities of both sexes, are the Hebrew words rendered God. Sometimes God is Elias, a Hebraic version of the sun, the Greek Helios. This was the Father Jesus Christ addressed in Matthew 27, 47 through 49, the death of Jesus. At noon, darkness fell across the whole land until three o'clock. At about three o'clock, Jesus called out with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sikbakteni, which means in Aramaic, my God Anu, my God Anu, why have you forsaken me? El means king of the gods, or the God. The Anunnaki created us in their image, Genesis 1.26. Then the Anunnaki God said, let us make human beings in our image. The us are the Anunnaki plural Elohim, as stated are gods and goddesses. They are immortals, known to have walked and talked on earth in cuneiform and in myth stories. The Anunnaki gods are also reflective in planets, like Anu Chronos Saturn to Helios to Jesus Christ, the sun. El or Anu was known as the sun or day star, as well as the planet Saturn, which at one point in history is to be known as the central and everlasting sun of the night sky. Anu Chrono Saturn worship is still reflected in worship by the Jews as Saturday or Saturn Day is God's day or the Sabbath. This is where Black Sabbath derives because it's the black sun and they dress in black. Also, if you want to hear the voice of God for women, then you get ear or Saturn rings. When we make a covenant with Anu, the Most High God in marriage, we get a Saturn wedding ring. So we also have the Tower of Babel to confuse languages. Then, of course, we have the Anunnaki gods that started the Sumerian Mesopotamian civilization in which all aspects of civilization started, including music, school, roads, government, law, religion, astrology, astronomy, and you name it, it was started by the Anunnaki gods in Samaria. These were simply called the Mies or the Tablets of Destinies. Moreover, they didn't just start the Sumerian civilization, they started the Earth's civilization because it's their planet. El 
is Elias to Helios to Saturn to Kronos to Anu. The sun god Helios, to whom Jesus called from the cross. These are the representations of planets, stars, and moons. So you have the Anunnaki gods living from generation to generation as immortals in man's history of religion in the Bible and the changing of the names of these Anunnaki gods as they see fit. Biblical proof of Anu, Saturn, Kronos as El Elyon in Amos 5.26. ISV And you carried the tent of your king and Saturn your star god, idols, that you crafted for yourselves. The star god is Anu, Kronos, Saturn, the central sun, whom as stated the Jews worship on Saturn Day as their Sabbath. This brings a very important question that I hope you should be asking yourself right now. Why would they worship Saturn as the sun? Was there a pole shift or axial shift? or a dearrangement of the heavens in our past? In Hebrew mythology, the god El is both the sun, S-U-N, and the planet Saturn, the father on high, or the gods on high, as the Unima Elis states. There is a demonstrating evidence that there used to be or are two suns in the ancient world stories. The planet Saturn is considered the heavenly father or as Anu is the father of the gods in Deuteronomy 32.8. Biblical example, when Saturn, Anu, was both the central sun, or black sun, and his Elohim, including Jesus Christ, as the daytime, or day star, Elohim, sun, S-U-N, as there was an axial shift or pole shift. In Isaiah 14.13-14. This is Jesus Christ. I will ascend to the heavens. I will raise my throne above the stars of God, or Anu. I, Jesus, will sit in throne on the mount of assembly, i.e. the sun, on the utmost heights of Mount Zephron, or the farthest reaches north. I will ascend above the tops of the clouds and be like the Most High, King Anu, Saturn. Kronos. In Mark 7, 5, 7, Jesus is called the Son of the Most High, Anu Saturn, Helios, and El Elyon, who blessed Abram, the father of all three Abrahamic religions, including Islam, Judaism, and Christianity. Jesus is named as a mere priest after the order of of Melchizedek in Psalm 110.4. You are a priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. How does Jesus Christ and Melchizedek relate to Abraham, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam? King Anu, Most High God in Genesis 14.18-20. And Melchizedek blessed Abram with this blessing. Blessed be Abram by Anu, God Most High, creator of heaven and earth. Melchizedek was a priest of Anu, God Most High, and king of Salem. And this is where we get Jerusalem. The universal law of polarity can be taken as the tree of knowledge of good and evil. The God Most High, Anu, Enlil, and Enki, making up the highest trinity, are evil. And they are good, they are fair, and they are great. They are everything that you want them to be because it's really up to you. Life is what you make of it or the universal law of reaping what you sow. Here's the secret of the number 666, as in Revelation 13, 18. The planet Saturn is the sixth planet Saturday or Saturn Day is the sixth day of the week, and the top of Saturn has a six-sided polygon to equal 666.
Jeremiah 33, 3. Call to me, Anu, and I will answer you, and will tell you great and hidden secrets that you have not known. Thank you so much. Peace and love to you. And always remember that you have the DNA of the Most High Gods, and they love you. Peace and love to you. And remember, you are and I am a Spirit of God.